All right, so do you always have recipes for breakfast and dinner, but sometimes just don't know what to make for lunch? Here are a couple of lunch prep recipes that may help. All right, the first recipe that I'm gonna go ahead and make are turkey taco salad meal prep bowls. Super easy, super yummy, easy ingredients that you need. You wanna get about a one to a one and a half pound um, ground turkey. You're gonna need some romaine lettuce or lettuce of your choice, some shredded cheese. I've got a package of mango pico de gallo here. You can always make it fresh some limes, some tomatoes. I'm gonna be using some meal prep containers that I did grab off of Amazon and some little two ounce um, serving size containers for the little extras that I'll be putting in my meal plan containers. So first up, I'm gonna go ahead and take my ground turkey and I am just gonna go ahead and brown it fully here in my pan. While the ground turkey is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep some of the other items. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some of the romaine lettuce. I'm gonna put some of the cheese in the two ounce portion cups there along with some of the mango salsa. And I just looked now, I don't even need the tomatoes. I had extra tomatoes in my um, refrigerator, but I forgot that I had purchased the mango salsa, so we're not even gonna use these in this recipe. And then I'm just gonna cut some lime wedges just to put in our meal prep containers as well. And I forgot to mention, you need a taco seasoning packet, because um, you're just gonna cook the ground turkey just as if you would be cooking taco meat. So one packet for a pound to a pound and a half of ground turkey. All right, the turkey is browned. I went ahead and I drained it as well. Now I'm gonna add three quarter cups of, cup of water and then I'm gonna add that taco seasoning packet as well and then let this cook for another five minutes or so and then let it cool down. So all of our turkey taco bowl extras are all prepped. So I just put the sliced lettuce in some snack size bags. It's really good to have these on the side in containers, especially when you're reheating the meat. So um, everything remains its consistency. You don't have to worry about soggy lettuce or you know, overcooked cheese. Um, here we have the pico de gallo and then I have four of the um, cheese and then I just have the limes. The meat is cooling and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna prep our salad bowls and that is it, it is that simple. Okay, so the meat is all cooked. What I am going to do is I'm gonna divvy it up in my containers and we are going to fill up our bowls. It is still even warm you can see there but we'll leave the bowls open so I place the meat in the center and what we want to do is we want to try and have four bowls for um, all of the meat all right so we have four of the taco bowls here what I like to do is just place the romaine lettuce on the side here 
And you can also add like sour cream if that's something that you want to go ahead and add in. You can definitely do that. And then on the sides, I just put our little containers of little extras here. So we have the salsa or the pico de gallo. We have the cheese, the lettuce, the meat. And then on top of the meat, I just like to place a little lime to go ahead and season everything. And that is it. This is a perfect lunch. This is great prep for dinner too. You know, after the kids get home from school, you don't have to worry about messing up dishes and pots and cutting up veggies and things like that. Everything is all set to go super easy. And then you can just go ahead and cover it with your meal prep container and you are all set to go. And there they are guys, again, super easy. One of my favorite recipes to go ahead and make and prep, um, especially for my husband for work, this is really easy. He has a knack of, if I use like plasticware, not bringing it home. So these little two ounce containers really come in hand for that because it just makes it super easy and convenient for him to eat and enjoy his food. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and make some pinwheel lunch meat sandwiches. Super easy, this is perfect for adults, this is great for kids. So we're gonna start with some tortillas. Now, my husband and I, we like the spinach herb tortilla. This is from Aldi, it's a six count and they're the big tortillas too, so it's easy to work with. And then we're also gonna make some um, whole wheat tortillas for the kids with turkey and mozzarella cheese. Um, these are also from Aldi. Um, so yeah, here is the turkey. Here is the mozzarella cheese. Now we're also going to make an Italian one. And for that one, we are going to use a cream cheese spread. This is just the Philadelphia garden vegetable. We have a pepper jack cheese here that we're going to put on along with some salami. And then we have some bone on ham that we'll be putting on there as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge for a good half hour just to get like a solid consistency to them so they're easy to go ahead and slice up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get my meal prep containers ready and prep some snacks for these. All right, so while these sandwiches are chilling in the fridge, I prep some snacks for them. Um, here I have some green grapes. I have some ranch dressing here with some carrots. And then these are some cherries and then just some bags of popcorn. Okay, so the pinwheels are all chilled. I'm just gonna cut off the ends here. You'll see where the lunch meat kind of starts, so you'll know where to start cutting. 
Um, and you'll see I'm not gonna lose that much lunch meat. You can always snack on those or keep those in a container like for a snack around the house, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna cut it about an inch wide there and you can see there is everything in there. I'm gonna go ahead and place these in the middle. And you can cut them bigger or however you wanna do it. You can see these are packed too, super packed. They look really good. And then this one, I'm just gonna get about one more because I'm at the end here, so it makes about four, four pack there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the ranch dressings and put that on the side with one of the carrots. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and place one of the grapes here on the side here. So a super easy and yummy lunch prep. All right, and here are the ones for the kids. Now my kids will not take like they don't wanna take a big old container like this to school or they don't do like the fancy lunch boxes. So these I normally will just put in a really little container for them, but for video purposes here, I'm just gonna put them in our black container since this is kind of an, an adult lunch box video, but these are great for kids as well. All right, so we have everything here. These are super cute. Again, you can pair anything that you want. These I'm gonna go ahead and put in the fridge. Sometimes we like to put like a little pickle in a bag too, um, which is good with a sandwich. And then the popcorn I just leave out. I don't put this in the fridge. Just as I'm packing lunches or whatever, I will put the popcorn in there, but super easy, guys. Another easy thing to prep is chicken salad. Um, it can be really expensive, especially if you buy it already made at your deli or local grocer. So it's nice to go ahead and make it. This was a meal that I used with items in my pantry. And the item that I was using in my pantry was this chicken breast. Let me tell you, I have a couple of containers from Costco of this that we have not even touched. And I'm talking they've been there for like a month. So it's time to go ahead and make some chicken salad to utilize that so they don't go bad. So it's really easy. I've just got two cans of chicken breast. These are 12.5 ounce. I have some Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm gonna add in some dried cranberries and some sliced almonds, salt, pepper for a little bit of taste, and then some diced celery as well. Now I'm not gonna prep these on the bread because if you prep them on the bread and put them in the fridge, they're gonna be like mush but I'm gonna go ahead and prepare them and put them in these containers. Um, these are seal tight containers that um, I love to use for like soup prep, especially for my husband for work. Um, I did grab these off of Amazon, so I'll link them below if you guys wanna check them out. Um, yeah, so then whenever we're making our lunches, we can just go ahead, put the chicken salad on there, take it out of here, put it on the bread, it's fresh, it doesn't get mushy. All right, first thing that I did was I drained my cans of chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and add them into a medium-sized bowl. I am gonna crush these down because some of the chunks in here are really big, and I want, um, you know, I don't want huge, huge chunks of chicken salad. So just take a fork and break them down. All right, so into my mixture, I'm gonna show you everything else that I'm going to add. I have four tablespoons of these sliced almonds. I am using three tablespoons of the dried cranberries. Salt and pepper to taste, so use as much or as little as you would like. And then I did dice up some celery. This was two stalks, so I'll probably end up throwing all of that in there. And then as far as mayonnaise, I am super picky. My husband loves Hellman's. I'm actually more of a Miracle Whip gal. I know, I can hear it now. Um, if you like Miracle Whip, comment down and let me know. But a lot of people do not like Miracle Whip. Um, I guess because that's what I was born with. My mom always made like chicken salad. And I'm not a huge mayonnaise or Miracle Whip fan overall. The only thing I use mayonnaise with is in chicken salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, but I'm gonna just add it, stir it, and you know, wait till it gets the consistency that is good for us.
chicken salad is super expensive. And then for work, you can just go ahead and add in some crackers if you don't wanna go ahead and do bread or you can do whatever bread you like. We are going to be using this Pepperidge Farm whole grain oatmeal bread for our sandwiches. So again, don't prep early the sandwiches, just keep them in some containers. So here is one container and then here is our second container. So a super easy meal prep recipe. You can have these for dinner. It's gonna save you guys a lot of time and money as well. All right guys, so thanks so much for watching this recipe video. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and join me back next week. I do have a playlist in the description box of the weekly videos that I've done so far. So you can go ahead and check those out. I have some freezer prep meals, some just plain old meal prep meals that are gonna make life a little bit easier. At least they've made our life a little bit easier. And one thing that I did buy this week off of Amazon and I got it just a little bit too late to include it in this video, I am gonna make homemade crustable sandwiches for the kids. So my kids love them. They are not crust eaters of the bread, especially my son. You can see his most recent sandwich that he ate here. What he left was the good old crust. So they love the Smucker's Crustables, but they can kind of be expensive, especially when peanut butter and jelly, we're always getting sales, and bread you can get super cheap. So I'm gonna try this out next week. Um, they had different ones you could purchase. Some were a little bit more expensive. It's really not much to it, but in the long run, if they like these, this is gonna save a lot of money. And not only the kids like peanut butter and jelly, my husband and I can definitely eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich now and then and not complain at all. So I'll keep you guys posted on this. Again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week. And let me know in the comments how your meal prep is going. Have you tried it? Is it taking too much time? You need to find simpler recipes. That is the key, simple, easy, filling, budget-friendly recipes. So I am on the search for more. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.